We destroyed the soldiers' wagon train. That's the thing! This is a story about the American West. A story of the men and women who pioneered the frontier with a courage and tenacity that will forever stand bold in the pages of man's history. If the characters in our story appear to be larger than life, give the impression they do not belong to reality, it is because the men and women they are portraying were larger than life and lived a reality that is unique and inconceivable to us. Many of these brave men and women died attempting to tame this wild country. And all those who survived suffered in one way or another from the intense hardships they had to face. But they survived. Howdy, Jake. Hey, welcome back, boss. Everything all right? Yep, sure, I think it's fine. You have a good trip? Yeah, pretty good. Hey, Mary! Joe's back! Easy, easy. Do we plant tomorrow? We shouldn't leave it too late, you know? Yeah, you're right. Tomorrow, huh? I was thinking about that barn wall. What do you say? All right. Tomorrow we'll finish the barn, then. And pray we don't get a change in the weather. Don't worry, Jake. It'll hold for us. Listen, they need to rub down some feed. They had a long journey. I'll see to it. Come on, fella. Hello, Joe. Hello, Mary. Hey, Pa, you're Hi, back. Hi, Georgie. Pa, Pa. Katie. <laughs> pa, when are you going to take us to One town day, with you? When you're a bit older. George, Katie. <laughs> take it easy. Your father's tired. Katie was a very naughty girl today, Pa. In what way? It's not true, Pa. He's a big liar. Hey. Uh, forget it, then. Oh, Pa, What's please, give me a go on the swing, will you? Real hard. Sure, come on. But only for a few minutes, all right? I'm very tired. A few minutes, then, all right. And tomorrow I'll give you a real long go. All right? Ready? Here we go. One. <laughs> higher, higher. <laughs> push me, George, push. Come on, George, higher. I'm glad you're back, All George. right, all right. How's that? Have you got any presents in there? Yeah, it's a little thing. <laughs> Come on, higher. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Your pa's brought us each a little present, children. A yes, present. we must brace for them. The last one in the house gets nothing, so run! Save one for me, Ma. But Pa, I'm the littlest one, and I can't run. So? So you carry me. Otherwise, I won't get anything at all, and that's not fair. All right, a big kiss, and it's a bargain. I'm catching you up, Pa. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Run, Katie would laugh that she doesn't get anything. <laughs> I make them laugh, but I'm up here. I need you, George. Where are the presents? Yeah, where are the presents? It's amazing the, the happiness presents present bring. You should go away every week. <laughs> oh, patience, children, that's where enough. Shh. Present? No more noise, or I'll keep everything. <laughs> Now, let's see what Paul brought. This is for Georgie. You can take command of your platoon. As soon as I get a large army, I'm going to conquer the whole world. And this is for Katie, the prettiest little girl in all of America. Oh. And George, you listen. You're not to touch this dolly at all. She's mine, and you're not going to play with her, you hear? <laughs> yes, listen to your sister, Georgie. Oh, there are other things. There's a special medallion to wear around your neck, Georgie, and one exactly the same for my Katie. Jacob, why don't you tell them dinner's ready and the Bible's for us? Here, put it around your neck, Georgie. There you are, darling. Now, be a good girl and don't lose it. It's precious, all right? Charge! Bugle, sound the charge! It ain't 
<laughs> oh. You all right, General? Present and correct, Ma. Ma, what am I going to call my dolly? Yeah. Oh, my goodness, that's important, isn't it? I don't know. You'll think of something tomorrow, huh? Thanks, Annie. Enjoy your dinner. Is Uncle Jonathan still down at the creek? He was there all day yesterday, and I imagine he went there this morning. He's really crazy. Squad, stand at ease. Hear my orders. At 0600 hours tomorrow, we will ride southeast and engage the enemy near the mouth of Rattlesnake Canyon. Come along, Katie. You can play with her in a minute. She shouldn't be here at the table. Come on. Mm. Huh? Mm. Lord, we thank you for the food on this table yes, and pray for forgiveness of our sins of today. Amen. Can I get down and go play with my dolly, Ma? I don't want any dinner. I don't feel hungry. And the Lord talked to Moses and commanded mm. that he bring the Israelites. So, man, I'd now like to wish all of you good luck and... May as well begin. Now, come on, come on. You must try to eat part of it at least. This is for the baby, and this is for Katie. the courageous man gone. Chief Hot and Cold Running Water, leader of the tribe known as Waka Waka, now advise this council that we are at war. We have many enemies who are trying to rob us of our land. In virtue of Silvercloud's great valor, it's been agreed that he should lead the men. Thank you, Winding Brook. I shall take great pride in destroying our enemies. Silvercloud, the warriors of the tribe known as Kaka will be under your command as well. Death to our enemies. Within two moons, many of our enemies will have passed forever to the great hunting ground in the sky. Not one of our enemies will survive the assault our courageous warriors will make on them. 
It has been decided that all of our enemies shall die, and those lands that have been stolen from us will be returned to us once again. Great God, someone has heard. He is ambushed in Wacka Wacka country and totally wiped out. <laughs> they didn't stand a chance. Here we go I'm again. we're all going to be killed. You men will ride out immediately. You will find and destroy the enemy at all costs. Civilian volunteers will be gratefully accepted. Any questions? No? Then I wish you good luck, men. <laughs> Follow this trail, just below Bison Flats. This information came from a reliable man, and it shouldn't be difficult to find our camp. Yes, who is it? Private Austin, sir. I've come from Fort Nolo. General's orders. We need arms, ammunition, and an escort, urgently. Right. Lieutenant Wilson? Get hold of a wagon and start loading. Yes, sir. When you're finished, come back here and I'll give you your orders. Thank you, Colonel. Hey, Lieutenant, you mind if I go off and see an old buddy of mine for a uh, few minutes? I wouldn't let him do that. Otherwise, he'll just disappear. You see, that old buddy of his is Janice, Jounce and Jack. Jealous or some Bogart? Yeah, I'd like to get a little of that one day. Just be back here and prepared to leave by midday. Yes, sir. Ah, 
It's mighty pleasing to see you again. Yeah. I thought you'd lost your scale by now. Well, back to the enemy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's drink to your success in this, Lieutenant. This is your first real mission. Could be dangerous. Extremely dangerous. Take good care, Lieutenant. The ones who should take care are the enemy, sir. You know I'm a terror when I'm aroused. Yeah, with Wilson on the warpath, I wouldn't like to be in their moccasins. So I'm going to get off. This is not a word I understand. What brings you here? Ah. My name is Mr. Hobby. Funny name, and I got it because my father went with my mother only for recreation. <laughs> ah. Look, I got some real important information for your boss, Chief Natural Gas. Call him a soldier. Dozens of guns. Yeah. <laughs> Greetings to you, Great Chief Natural Gas. I, uh. Uh, this Great Chief Hot and Cold Running Water, not Great Chief Natural Gas. Oh, sorry. Uh, <clears throat> now then, tell him what you told me. Oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> all right. Uh, Great Chief Hot and Cold Running Water. I have information regarding soldiers and guns. And uh, I'd be willing to tell you where they are. Well, easily a couple of pounds of gold dust. Yeah, just a pound or two of gold dust. I'm sorry, but I want the information first. Speak. The information. Speak. All right. I'll speak. A column of soldiers in a wagon full of arms and ammunition is leaving Fort Mason at midday today. They're going to Fort Nolo. There'll only be an escort of 10 soldiers, that's all. I'll 
воскресенье. Greasy scalp is yours. I'm sorry, but I could not resist the shot. <laughs> and you, courageous warrior, were more than a little scared. <laughs> the great god Siwas put a wonderful accuracy in your eye and hand. Yay! Chew that straw, you never know where it's been. Ah, dear Janice, you're a mighty pretty girl, you know. You got me hooked on your bait. Why, Freddie, how nice. You know I like you, don't you? You're very special to me, you know. So listen, darling, why don't we get married? Uh, uh oh. Great snakes, I'm late. Oh, yeah? You know, Freddie, dear, I ought to hit you over the head with a hot iron. Why, my pretty look, I didn't mean to hurt you in any way. You know I gotta be back soon or I'll be jailed. Listen, Janice, I got myself picked for this escort just to get over to see you. Oh, Fred. Believe me, it's true. Besides, I ain't the marrying kind. You coyote! The long, sweetie pie. The great god Siwa is helping and protecting us. One of the enemy has come to us with information. In exchange for a bag of gold, he told us about a column of soldiers who are riding to Fort Nolo. They're guarding a wagon full of arms and ammunition, which we will take. We thank the god Saiwa. I've been told that the enemy informer is now food for the birds. They gotta eat like everybody else. The pig deserved it. Our enemies will not survive long with Silver Cloud in the saddle. It was a grave mistake to kill the informer like that. He could have double-crossed us and told the enemy what we planned. A man like that makes a rat look moral. He's no more trustworthy than a rattlesnake. Silver Cloud is forgetting one thing, maybe. He's not the chief of the tribe. And Green Beanie is forgetting. And I am chosen chief of the warriors for now. Any decisions that pertain to the defense of my people in this time of war can and shall be made by me. I have proved my courage in battle and the love I hold for our tribe by those acts of courage. Do you not recall how I single-handedly baited a column of our enemies and led them into the Valley of the Snakes? They were coming to destroy our village. And instead, I, Silver Cloud, led them to their own destruction.
mighty god Saiwa wants another proof of Silver Cloud's great prowess as a warrior and a leader. He has spoken. The best of luck, Lieutenant. We'll see you in about three days. Right, Colonel. And thank you. your fault, you know, Silver Cloud. You make more noise than a road drill. Squirrel is a bit faster than you, Luana. Silver Cloud still have the love amulet given to him by Luana? Of course. You can't imagine that Silver Cloud would not wear it, could you? He has never taken it off, and he will wear it for always. Your words warm my heart, the way the sun's raised it. Silver Cloud has two hearts, one for living and one for Luana. I feel cold. I feel it in the spirit. A cold that makes my soul shiver. And everything is darkness. Luana, what the hell are you saying? When the, the red sun has set and the moon has risen in the night sky, I hear voices. They tell me about strange happenings, about me and Silver Cloud, and about death. They're trying to say something. Maybe it's a warning.
anything wrong, Lieutenant? No. Tell the men we're going to make camp here tonight. Yes, sir. Dismount. We'll make camp here for tonight. And first guard. Go for Bradley, you relieve me. And Johnson, Roberts, Jackson, Gordon, Bugart, and Austin. We do one hour each. And keep your eyes and ears open. It may look peaceful, but I smell trouble. That's enough, Austin. Don't you sober when you're on guard. Hey, Lieutenant, what do you am? Fred, let's go. Get your hands off me. Hey, Fred, why don't you get some rest? Fred, come on. Tomorrow we've got a long ride. Great. Where are you going, Austin? Yeah, where are you going? You could get scalped in those bushes. Yeah? What's the matter? Scared of the bushes, are you? Well, listen, I'm not scared of anything. Fred. They killed my wife. Look, look. Listen, Fred. Yeah, they killed my little dolly. They chopped off her head. They killed my son as well. When I got back to the ranch, they were dead. My wife and my son. I ain't afraid of those sons of bitches. No. I'll kill them all. Where are you going? Hey, Fred. For Christ's sake, come back here. Ah, oh, shut up. Can't a man take a piss in peace? Hey, Fred, wake up. It's your turn. Come on, wake up. How are you feeling? Don't ask. Give me that rifle. Go to sleep. Mm -hmm. Hey, how you doing? Hey, fella.
darling. I'll be joining you soon. We'll be able to talk over old times. Oh, my God. They killed them all. Did you see it, darling? They killed them all. Oh, darling. Oh. Saiwa, we thank you. Welcome back, Silver Cloud. I love your makeup, darling. Oh, you should. It took me all of an hour to put it on. It's beautiful, darling, though. I think maybe you need less pan stick. Didn't you hear me? Play something else, Charlie. I like this. Who do you think you're talking to? time of the evening, bad form. I'm sorry about this, Colonel. I had one slug too many. <laughs> Good evening, man. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. No money, no hanky panky. One card. Two for me. What an honor. Colonel... Hold Martin. it right there, my little Pepita. Wait a minute. I don't want you to give my men any wrong impression. We're just good friends, you know. Well, Colonel, we've heard that you're an old hero of many battles. Oh, <laughs> true. Lucky about <laughs> Listen, men. I would like to introduce Pepita. That's a Mexican name. Given to her by General Loping Lopez when she was living down in old Mexico. <laughs> She's no more Mexican than any of us are actors. <laughs> I'd love to get to know you a little better. <laughs> you would, would you? <laughs> hey, Bob, come around. I'll play something for us, Charlie, huh? Right, I'll play that real old goodie. Susanna's here again. 
wait a minute. He's playing my song without even asking me to sing all together. Come on. Oh, Susan, I serious. The enemy has beaten us again. They not only killed a lot of good men, but stole a lot of guns and ammo. Give me a hundred men and I'll clean up the whole country for you, sir. And I go with him, sir. It's not as easy as all that. It's not that easy at all. They're like rays. You start tracking them and they just disappear. The only way is to locate and destroy their villages. Captain Thornton, get the men and give them plenty of ammunition. We leave immediately. We've got to find our village this time. Half an hour. We ride at dawn, and I swear to God on high, we will destroy the enemy. Silver Cloud must prove your worth to the great god Saiwa again. He who wins shall lead the warriors.
has been given. You, Silver Cloud, have again shown your courage and skill. You will remain as leader of our warriors. The great god Saiwa is leading you toward chiefdom in our tribe. as if your heart is empty of joy. And this is for Katie, the prettiest little girl in all of America. You listen, you're not to touch this dolly at all. She's mine, and you're not going to play with her, you hear?
Pa, you're back. Pa, Pa. Guys, feel.
I killed three enemies. When will the bloodletting stop? When we get our lands back. Why is Luana here with the prisoners? Return at once to your teepee, Luana. No, the prisoners need help. I don't understand your words, Luana. The prisoners must die. Why? We are fighting a war, that's why. But why do we have to fight at all? Squad Hawk! We found our camp, sir. It's about an hour's ride to the east. It's real quiet and practically unguarded. Good. Thank you, Shelton. Carry on. See, the men are ready to attack. Right, Colonel, at once. Then we ride. and of the governor of this here county, I declare this a victory, a great victory. All of you men acted with fantastic courage. Thank you. Today we have eliminated those directly responsible for what had become a festering wound in the pattern of our peaceful existence. This heroic battle will go down in the annals of history. Let's honor our men who died in this battle. Captain McMurray. Sir. Take charge of the burial detail and destroy the rest of this camp. Yes, sir. The prisoners come with us. 
Front forward march! my son. Loana was born to one of our enemies. I killed my parents and brought her up as if she were a daughter of mine. Loana, Loana. Listen, Silver Cloud, you've got to marry her. Like that, no one will ever learn of her origin. You understand, if they do, you will forfeit her. You must defend our tribe, my son. They're relying on you, Silver Cloud. There's nobody else. I know that you can lead with honor and courage. It is peace that they need, and you can Attain it. You're the chief now, Silver Cloud. And I know that the great God Saiwa will fight at your side. Go and save Loana. Save her. Daughter Luana saved your life, Lieutenant. Colonel, sir, I know it's hard to swallow, but that's how it was. If it weren't for her, Lieutenant Wilson would be dead. There's not much I can say, because nearly all that time I was unconscious. How's that wound healing now, Lieutenant? Fine, thanks. It's pretty well healed. In fact, I think I'll be able to take off the dressing for good today. You know, there's one thing that bothers me, sir. Luana has a medallion she wears around her neck just like mine. Her father apparently gave it to her. And he's dead. So there's not much chance of asking him. Captain Thompson. In the morning, the prisoners are to be put on trial. Pick out a firing squad. They're going to realize that Colonel Monson's a Patriotic American. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll take over, Sheriff. Go and have a drink. Uh, thanks, Will. It's just what the doc ordered. Yeah, well, Hank's in the saloon. Keep your eyes open, will you? Not much I can do now. Just do as I tell you, Will, and you'll live to be as old as I am. Sure, Sheriff. Oh, evening, Lieutenant. Get the colonel's orders? Sure, that you can talk to him. You saved my life, Luana. I want to help you.
tell me, Loana, do you still have that medallion that's like mine? Where did you get it? I've lived all my life on the prairies. My protector and father taught me about the earth and the water and the way that, that nature is. He explained that there's enough food and meat for all the people on the earth. So why do men kill each other? Well, I, I don't know why they do. Though I know your chief or the band of warriors were the ones who killed my family. So there is the answer. It's caused by a vicious circle of vengeance and hatred. Why did your people take our lands, kill off our bison, drive us into areas where we could not survive? If you had come as friends, we would have gladly shared it all with you. But you didn't. You came as conquerors. And now there's no peace between us. But we must attain peace soon and bury the hatchet of war, or man will destroy everything. You're right. But Silver Cloud doesn't think like that. He's still killing. He's still on the warpath. Because we're still at war. Agree to leave our people in peace. And I know Silver Cloud will leave yours in peace. Aye. Colonel Victor Frederick Munson, as commander of this county's military, and by virtue of the power invested in me by the President of the United States of America, hereby order that, firstly, the prisoners that are here in our custody today are to be sent to special areas designated by us where they are to live under protected conditions until such time as these orders are changed. Secondly, it is forbidden for others to enter these areas unless special orders are obtained. As for the prisoners, it is ordered here that they are forbidden alcohol of any kind and anything else that might affect their peaceful comportment. Breaking this law will carry the death penalty. Thirdly, prisoners may not own or use guns or any type of weapon that might be termed lethal. Fourthly, any prisoner who refuses to go or for any reason leaves his designated area will immediately forfeit his freedom and go to jail where he will remain until he has shown the authorities that Come in peace, Colonel Munson. I, Silver Cloud, stand ready to offer myself as prisoner in exchange for these of my people that you have here this morning. If you let them go, then I, as the chief, will guarantee that the war between us will be ended. The great god Saiwa will strike me down if I lie with these words. I will swear also on this your sacred book. Yes, Lieutenant, it belonged to your father. Come on, I say! <laughs>
Get back. Move it back. Hurry up. Move it back. Come on. Nothing would exist. 